Shalom, peace. I'm Gary Carlin. I am the, the rabbi, the spiritual leader of Shar Shalom Congregation in Halifax. And I'm here with you actually speaking from my dining room. And what you see behind me is a virtual background of the sanctuary of the Shar Shalom Congregation, including the table where the prayer leader stands to lead our, our tefillot. And also the uh, the cabinet in the back with the curtain on it. The red curtain is where we keep our uh, our scrolls of the law, the scrolls of the five books of Moses, the Torah scrolls that we read every Sabbath, and on holidays and other significant occasions. But I'm not there because this is the way we are living our lives now in the age of COVID. We are all staying safe as it should be, and we are avoiding public spaces. But we Jews are very good at that, about being place-based, place-based, but also being flexible to the other places as well. We have a long history of this, dating from the time when Judaism was temple-based, the Jerusalem temple was where the action stood, but what, when that's destroyed, what do you do? You have to find yourself in a new situation. When you're no longer connected with the land, the land of Israel, where our people were planted, where we grew, where we flowered, and when there's a a war or a diaspora and we are no longer there, what do we do? I'm here now, I'm here in, in North America. There are all different changes that take place over life. And they're very often they're not of our own device, not of our own desire. There are things that happen to us like the COVID uh, epidemic, pandemic. It is something that happened to us and we have to be able to, to, um, to, be able to deal with it. One of the geniuses of my tradition of Judaism is that we have learned how to make it portable. We've learned how to make ritual, which is portable, a way to take it into our lives, even if we can't be with other people or if we are separated from our places or not in our usual routines. And we've learned how to make it powerful through the text study of text and through community, finding people to celebrate with, to commemorate with, and to connect with God, to understand that we don't need to have one place. I don't need the sanctuary behind me to separate to, to uh, I can be separate from it, but I can still connect with God within community, even on my own. Our history, our Jewish history teaches us, us this, and I think it's something that will stand all of us well to understand in these times of COVID. That is that we need to be able to work these things out, the rituals, the connections, the reformulated sense of community, the new physical spaces and virtual spaces that will help to define us. You know, in the uh, we Jews every uh, every Shabbat, every Sabbath morning, we read a section of the Torah, and we read it sequentially. And just recently, we read of the story of Jacob wrestling with the unknown assailant. It's a very strange story in the Torah. Jacob is fleeing from his brother Esau, and he sleeps and he's awoken in a fight. He's actually attacked by an unknown assailant. And he eventually frees himself and is able to exact a blessing from this assailant. But the Torah tells us that his hip was damaged in the fight, that he limped away. Jacob emerges from this, uh, from this challenge, from this fight, limping. He is no longer the same Jacob as when we started, but he's not diminished. He's changed. The life that we're living now, post-COVID, now I'm speaking, we're actually starting to circulate. Uh, hopefully, we just heard in the news that within a week or two or three, we'll start to see the vaccine appear in Canada. Um, we will not, even after we have an effective vaccine, and even after we are immune to COVID, we will not emerge from this the same way. We will still be limping, as it were just as Jacob, our forebear, did. But we will learn how to live with that limp and even to use it creatively in new ways. So my message during this time of COVID over this video is, yes, this is new. This is difficult. It's challenging at times. It makes us feel sometimes even empty inside. But out of that challenge will come new ways of being able to connect with others in community and ultimately to connect with God in ritual, in study, in prayer, and also in life. So I wish everybody shalom, peace, health, and we will get through this together 
as our communities of Nova Scotia. Shalom, peace.